Hello, I'm Sam Goldsmith from Tiffin School, and today I'll be taking you on a journey to the Venetian canals. Just don't fall in. <laughs> it's well known that Shakespeare used his words in a way that befuddles even the greatest of authors. I would know. The Merchant of Venice is a perfect example of this. At the time, the 16th century, in Venice, there was a strong prejudice against the Jewish. There were ghettos they were forced into by a curfew, and segregation laws like forcing them to wear, wear red hats. This is presented well in the play. Throughout, several themes are apparent and most visible in the characters, including wealth, love, and prejudice. For example, Shylock, a Jewish miser, holds the theme of wealth very closely to him. In this extract, which is the famous revenge speech, Shylock goes on a rant about how he has no sympathy for Antonio, how he will stick to his deal. His deal? Well, earlier in the play, Charlotte did what any normal, rational human being would do. Threatened to steal another man's flesh. <laughs> After this, he continues his thoughts on the anti-Semitic views at the time. He explains the underlying similarities between Christians and Jews. I chose this monologue because I love how, even though Charlotte was in a minority group, he proved to us that no matter who you are or what you believe, you're better than what anyone thinks. Thank you. There, I have another bad match. A bankrupt, a prodigal, who dare scarce show his head on the Rialto. A beggar that was used to come so smug upon the mart. Let him look to his bond. He was wont to call me a juror. Let him look to his bond. He was wont to lend money for a Christian courtesy. Let him look to his bond. And what? Be it worth. Well, to bait fish with all. If it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million, laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, called my friends, heated mine enemies. And what's his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes, hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Revenge! If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his servants be by Christian example? Why, revenge! The villainy you teach me, I will execute, and it shall go hard, but I will better the instruction.